Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Dream Daddy. Now, I mentioned in the previous episode that if you wanted me to date a particular dad uh, for this episode, if you had a dad in mind, uh, let me know. One of you did. You, you asked for Matt in today's episode. So, what I plan to do is that for each new dad, each new episode, I'll do the two dates with the dad, if I can, if I have time. Uh, so, let's get into Matt's messages, get into his DMs. And, uh, yeah, let's message him. <laughs> Always carry a pocket knife, Dad Tip 18. <laughs> I would if it wasn't illegal to carry <laughs> concealed weapons. I'm sure you could get away with a pocket knife, but... I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. <laughs> you free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. <laughs> I can't remember what voice I gave him. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Soundgarden. Wanna come out? I can't remember what voice I gave him last time, honestly. Oh, do I check? I might just check. As per usual, I'm probably gonna keep changing his voice until I'm happy with it. <laughs> I think for a moment. What's the Soundgarden? <laughs> It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? <laughs> While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. <laughs> I had trouble with it too. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Oh, what was that last message? I didn't see it, it didn't give me enough time to read it. I log off to Adwell and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrack decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning into the occult. Turning to the occult. <laughs> turning into the occult? <laughs> oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to, progressive rock, I used to listen to and mentally envisioned all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? I wasn't born in the 80s. I was born in the 90s. I might act like I grew up in the 90s, but I was born mid-90s, you know, 94. So, <laughs> I didn't really know what was happening until it was thousands already. Um, Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a, a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool. At least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Hmm. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Hmm. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? Fine. Oh. Oh, nothing. I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. Genre. <laughs> genre. I think it's just yet another thing we write off because we can't take young women or, or their interests seriously. That is pretty messed up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is kind of, but. You have to tell me what's actually wrong. Well, you have to tell me, no. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, anything going on. I just want to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt. <laughs> I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Huh. Oh, she immediately looks a lot better. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Mm -hmm. Amanda, how do I... How do I be cool? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. <laughs> no, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. <laughs> yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I was suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh. Oh god. 
I tried so hard to forget. <laughs> the one where I had to camp out with you and lied so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Dad, it was so much more than that, and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? <laughs> you, <laughs> you seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your traffic keeper. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring the big glittery sign. <laughs> just bring... Just bring a big... <laughs> Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot, and you'll fit right in. Well, it's at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Like DIY gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Are they post-punk? Proto-punk? C-punk? Jeremy punk? <laughs> what? What's Jeremy hey. punk? I made that one up to see if you could get a if I could get away with it. Oh my god. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're Canadian punk? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? <laughs> uh, it's, so, it's so clearly written by an American. I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. <laughs> well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Yeah. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. That's it? I mean, yeah. It's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> and if a strange dude in a Set Your Goals hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? <laughs> Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. <laughs> I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out front, locking the door to the shop. Hey, yeah. Uh... Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and mimic the voice that I can hear when he talks. Well, it's been a while. Yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. Okay, do I be super positive or do I be like, well, it's been a while. Any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I'm prepared to kill. Are you? Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's way too intense. I could feel it happening before I even did it. No. Well, it's been a while. Is, my, is the original one that I wanted to choose? Other characters respond well to like, yeah, positivity. I didn't think Matt was going to be like that, so I'll try and just be normal, Rory. Well, it's been a while. Ah, oh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pit Rocks were cool. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Wait, he didn't respond. Is the other, is the middle answer better? Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and screams and scream cries? Yeah. Oh. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from that one. From that last one. Oh. Stay strong. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna see. Wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> okay, let's try this answer just really quick. Uh, yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. You better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's mosh that new... What? That venue? That new... What? <laughs> New, short for venue, you know, where you gotta see dope uh, dope certs. <laughs> Why is that the best answer? That's silly. Are you just making this stuff up right now? Ah oh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. Oh, so it's just, ah oh, man, it was like the same outcome, what the hell? Why is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, so I've already read this. Uh, scream cries, yeah. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Hey dude. But dude. <laughs> hey dude. But dude. I gotta take you for your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Rorius, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. I'll, it'll be a blast. Quick question. Oh. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's just weird because scene can describe a music scene, as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they are into. 
they were into. <laughs> Matt looks off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. <laughs> That's confusing. Okay. You'll get it. The important thing is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. <laughs> I am suddenly aware of my mortality. When with the good years of my life, will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Punk actually a genre? Ah, <laughs> oh, who is this? Is it the guy I think it is? Matt, you made it! What? A younger, kid, a younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight and take a nap? Hey. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell, yell hey his way. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. <laughs> <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Hey dude. <laughs> hey dude. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh? Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar at the, in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks to it at hey. him. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Hey. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Uh -huh. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Hmm. <laughs> I have the same... I know the feeling, I know the feeling. Once that thing that it makes you unique to the, to the conversation, you know, once that's over and you've, you've done the, enough talking about that, suddenly it's like, well, what the hell do I say? And yeah, you become acutely aware of your position, the way you're standing, your jet, your your stance, the way you're holding yourself. Ugh. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. I also hate that. I hate thinking about that. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? Hey. <laughs> See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait. Hey. We grab our drinks. This scene <laughs> seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Hey. Oh, it's this guy. This is who I thought was talking to him before. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager cuts a selection of t-shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. <laughs> Another voice to make up. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrements. A discerning consigoer of considerable taste might want. You? <laughs> I don't know if I read all that out properly, like, I, just, I started just trying a voice and then just continued. I don't know if that recorded well. I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. <laughs> yes, you! You look like a fella who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit. Uh, telly ho, good sir. <laughs> telly ho, good sir. Please stop yelling at me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna save it. Uh, <laughs> I sense some hesitation in your voice, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck's this accent? I sense some hesitation in your voice, buddy. Let me assure you on my reputation as salesman of the highest caliber, and that this rec and that this record cannot and will not let you down. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Uh, one second, I think. If I load, I have a feeling there's a that when I had this. Oh, <laughs> uh, there was no response to this one. I'm gonna check what the other answers do. Every time there's a choice of answers, I'm probably gonna choose, you know, try a couple of different choices just to see if one of them results in, like, a positive response. Because I've already missed a couple of possible moments that I could have got something because it was neutral. When it's neutral, nothing comes out of the person. In this case, we're talking about Matt, his response to my response to this. Please stop yelling at me. 
<laughs> I'm already kind of on edge because of this is an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here and I would appreciate it if you could stop singling me out and I'm sure you're cool but this is making me a little uncomfortable. That was a terrible response. The kid immediately hops down off the chair. You got it. Sorry about that. I just get really excited about salesmanship. Oh. Yeah, positive response. See? Positive response. I was waiting for Matt to show up before I gave up on that uh, avenue. <laughs> I can't relate, but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. Hey, Pablo. Oh, hey, Pablo. <laughs> your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? I don't know what this voice I'm giving Pablo is. <laughs> day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but it also turned into a hug. Hey. <laughs> Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that con <laughs> that connect. <laughs> I'd have to deal with you every single day? <laughs> Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hey. That's Rory's. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Rory's cool? Hmm. <laughs> Matt eyes me. I I am back. He cracks a smile. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. <laughs> My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy of, the courtesy two pats on the back, as is customary in our society for people who <laughs> for people you don't know super well, but still want to be friendly to. Hey. <laughs> That's very true, very true. There's always two. It's always two. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. <laughs> so do I. Yeah, man, when we were starting our witch house band... Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know Vacant Vale would have slayed. <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band t-shirts. <laughs> we got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Hey. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Matt and I walk over to the stage, where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? <laughs> the lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a medallion slung behind his back. Hmm. Hey, what's up everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Hmm. Oh. Oh no. These guys. What? Well, without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I have ever heard. <laughs> what the frick? What is this? Matt doesn't say anything, he just hands me earplugs. Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters? Hey dude. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So, you got a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> ask again. So, you go to uh... <laughs> a lot of concerts out here. What? <laughs> hey. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Matt turns back to his attention to the show. So, I, okay, keeping with it in that case was the, the right choice. Matt turns back to his attention to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to join the music. <laughs> oh, dear. noise it's playing in the background is just fantastic. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. <laughs> what? After the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Hmm. <laughs> Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pop is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. <laughs> oh yeah, he sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. <laughs> okay. Hey. Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. 
We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having to a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop to look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. Okay. Despite my size, I like to think that I'm very good in crowds. I'm very good at weaving between people. <laughs> um, I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Hey. Aww. Almost lost you, buddy. <laughs> Whew. I got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. <laughs> we finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Oh. Yeah, pop really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music, just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse his tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty, beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually pretty good. pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? I have a feeling this is a mini game. I feel like I've seen a mini game that looks like it was- yeah, here we go. Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I've got to get there without being trampled by all these rowdy youths. Avoid the youths. Okay, um... Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Does it matter what score I get? Oh. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We worked really hard to lock it down for you. <laughs> we even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But their <laughs> systems are seriously broken. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Ow, no health. So we add the, the song that you're listening to right now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? <laughs> Do you stream yeah, this, is a, this is a pop song supposed to be playing as you run along here. Please oh, no. Check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. Yeah. That's the song that's supposed to be playing, but then the Game Grumps guys just had to make a new right, song, basically, for this mini-game, so that people wouldn't get content ID struck when they the played it on YouTube. Is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. Do I just have to last out the, the like timer? Yes, and SNES games, the lyrics added into them, it's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now, but you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. <laughs> it's, really it's like, just go listen to this actual song. No, no. <laughs> so we added the no. song that you're listening to right Ooh. now. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? Yeah. To you streamers ah. and let's players, I have one decree. <laughs> Please check out the band called Pup and their song DV. You survived the crowd, yay! <laughs> I got hit a lot though, to be fair. What? It's plus. Demands a serious <laughs> on vote. But is this the time or place to talk this about? This is such a weird song around. to be playing over the. Ugh. This is a dating sim about getting with dads, no less. <laughs> oh God, how did we get here? What are we doing? What a mess. <laughs> okay, I was gonna try and speak over it. I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot, well I guess I should keep looking. I'm bumped into from behind and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit! 
<laughs> How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth sh shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in a circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it! This is how I die! Trampled under the boots of counterculture! Somebody grabs my hand. Someone familiar. <laughs> I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up onto my feet. Aww. <laughs> You're wild, dude! Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into youths left and right as Pup play a, plays a killer solo. <laughs> this is fucking song play. Oh my god. I didn't know you messed with the pit. Oh. Me neither. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad and I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> Alright man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. I'm glad the song is finished, honestly. It's hard to speak over someone speaking. Pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. <laughs> With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say goodbye to a couple people. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Aww. He noticed I noticed. <laughs> Whoa, thanks man. Hey. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. Hey. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. The youths will finally accept me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. Wait a second. Amanda will love this? I feel like that's actually probably a... No, no. Uh... The youths will finally accept me or... I'm gonna say I'm, I'm never taking this off. I will continually wear it until it is tattered and it's a little bit smelly so I can truly embody punk fashion. <laughs> hey Matt. Hey, it's Pup. Yeah, the whole band. Because they're like friends. Was that the right answer? I'm gonna load. Amanda will love this? Oh wow, I bet Amanda would be super into this. She loves angry punk mm. music. Oh yeah, huh. Yeah, no, I thought... See, that's what I originally thought. That's why I was like, no, I'm not gonna t do that. I wanted to be, like, appreciative of the gift, you know? The youths will finally accept me. Finally. <laughs> I'll be able to infiltrate their ranks and defeat them, not only in the field of battle, as we have done today, but on that grander scale. <laughs> okay. We'll see you in the world pit, youths. <laughs> hey, Matt. Hey, yeah. Uh... Hey, it's Pup. <laughs> The collective group all at just pop. <laughs> this is just one person. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. Hey. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey. Well, see you around. <laughs> okay. It's just a little cameo, I guess. Wait, you know Pop? Hey. Oh, yeah. Met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Hey. Come on, let's grab some diner food. I suddenly realize just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits really take a lot out of you. <laughs> Matt and I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hey. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seen red. <laughs> Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering towards me, there's nowhere to go. Hey. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. And just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face. Uh -huh. Bought him a beer afterwards and we're cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. <laughs> Glad you guys worked it out. Hey. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you the punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. <laughs> so how did you get to see all these amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, we were poor. <laughs> and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But yeah, that's how I know a bunch of these people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community. Especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people. Especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everyone loves Pablo. 
His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> It'll be loud, and I'll need to... <laughs> It'll be loud, and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin. But I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Sita's re rebellious phase, but... I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hey. Like what? Okay. <laughs> Another choice. Fashion, consumerism, big budget remakes of foreign films. I bet he's gonna like this one. Because he said that he likes uh, sub stuff with subtitles in it. Big budget remakes of foreign films. <laughs> See, I freaking knew it would come down to subtitles. Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the, sp absolutely hitting the spot. Hey. Was that not the right choice? <laughs> I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. I thought for sure that that would be right. Fashion, consumerism, fashion maybe? You can always fly in the face of the fashion industry. That's a good anti-establishment option. <laughs> Man, just as to my outfit. <laughs> I think you got that one covered, dude. <laughs> cool, whatever. I'm hurt. I thought I was among friends. <laughs> he and I laugh. <laughs> we keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. Wait a second, I know there are some that are like the best option. So I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check. Consumerism. Why do we gotta get up early the day after Thanksgiving and line up to buy things? Why can't we like share things? <laughs> Comrade, you're speaking of dangerous things there. <laughs> okay, no, it's... There are a couple of places where there's like... There's a there's a neutral and then a like and then like a, a love version and I want to keep an eye out for that if possible but um yeah if we go fashion man just is my outfit yeah <laughs> I think you've got that one covered dude man oh being a single dad is rough sometimes it's a lonely feeling I understand that all too well I mean at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to uh -huh. yeah I just I don't know hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people Matt gets nervous talking to people but he's so cool me too I've never really considered myself an extrovert I never really considered myself an introvert I definitely I'm an introvert 100% introvert not 100% like whenever I do those tests it's like 70 30 or 60 40 uh, introverted it used to be more but uh, as I've grown older uh, I've become slightly less introverted. I wouldn't say that I was more extroverted if I was, I'm just less introverted. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. <laughs> we finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Oh. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Mm. I uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. Alright, I'm calling quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. <laughs> I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Mm. Hey Pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm. <laughs> you don't say. Amanda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading the blind, huh? <laughs> wow, I just got dugged on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey Amanda, remind me of remind me which one of us just tore up. <laughs> <laughs> hey Amanda, remind me of which one of us just tore it up in a pit at a punk show, and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House hunting Amish triplets? Extreme Edition? What? 
<laughs> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you, Mosh to the Pit? Who even are you? I'm your extremely cool dad. <laughs> Alright, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. <laughs> Night, kiddo. Alright, date complete. How did I do? <laughs> All the <are> cool. <laughs> These numbers. They're totally ridiculous. Really S rank. Like Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna leave this here. I was gonna try and do two dates. There's no way I could fit two dates into one episode. That took... That was a long date, so... <laughs> it looks like this is gonna be a long series with one date per episode. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see. I might end up... Oh, I was gonna say, I might end up streaming, but no, there's no way I'm streaming. Whatever ends up happening, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. <laughs> I'll try and speed things up a little bit, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to fit more than about one date per episode. And there's three dates for every dad, and there's an outro after every final date. Oh. I want to see all the endings and stuff like that, but I don't know if I have the time to do that. And I don't have I don't have the skill to do this in a stream. It's too much ri reading, too much reading. So, as per last time, if you want me to date a particular dad in the next episode, uh, let me know down below. I'll date whoever the first p dad is. Otherwise, I'll continue with Matt. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and as always, 